Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week we're doing four different ways to play Creep by Radiohead. Now I'm going to play through them very quickly just to show you all the different versions. Then I'm going to break each one down individually. So first off is the standard version as it's played on the record. So that's version one. Version two is a super, super easy version, right? And we're just going to use power chords for this. So if you can't play bar chords, you're not too good at open chords. It's just power chords. version two. Version three is with a capo, all right? Still in the same key as the record. It's my favorite version, actually. Okay, and the last version is just played with open chords down here, okay? Obviously on the record it's played with electric guitar, I've played a little bit slower, but just to keep this uh, moving along. So, first version, standard version, played with bar chords. Now, if you're new to guitar, bar chords are going to be really tricky in the beginning, but it doesn't mean to avoid them, okay? So, the first one looks like this. Now, you're going to have to get used to these to improve your guitar skills anyway, alright? And it just opens up a realm to be able to play tons and tons of songs, alright? So we're just going to put our first finger down here and we're going to bar at the third fret and then we're going to form this E chord, okay? Except it's not an E anymore because we changed the root, which is this first note here, is now G. So that chord becomes G. Okay? So all I'm doing for the strumming... So to keep it nice and simple for you guys, down, down, up, down, down. Move that position to the seventh fret. Same chord, okay? Except now we've changed the root to B. This note here is B, so it becomes a B chord. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Slide it again. Now it becomes C. Then we take off our second finger. It becomes C minor. Now, if I just relax my fingers and uh, I don't press down anymore, you get this kind of noise. It's what they do on the record. Obviously, it's on an electric guitar, we're on acoustic, it doesn't matter. So there's version one, okay? Version two, the same positions, but just with a power chord, okay? So if you're completely new to guitar, never played a chord before, you just got to learn this one shape. It doesn't matter if you use your first or third finger or first or fourth finger to begin with. That's fine. It looks like this. First finger, third fret, bottom E string, the thick string. Third finger or pinky, fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five on the A string, the fifth string. We always count from the thinnest, all right? One, two, three, four, five. Only ever play the strings that you've got your fingers on. Third fret, seventh fret, 
nice and easy. Keeping the strumming similar, down, down, up, down, down. Okay, there we have it, nice and simple guys, right? So if you're brand new to the guitar and you're finding it a struggle to play that power chord, you can just use one finger. And so on. Here's my favorite version. If you've got a capo, great. Stick it on at fret seven, all right? And we're going to play a C major chord. You can use the same strumming, right? What I was doing earlier... If I get the chords right. Sounds really nice, yeah? So you could kind of improvise and mess around with that. So I'm not doing anything fancy in particular with the picking, I'm just kind of doing this random picking. As long as you've got like the root note in, so the first one's C. Then I'm playing C add nine. You can do that kind of thing, right? Then an E7. Then an E7, an F. I'm doing it like this, or you could do it like this. I'm adding on that pinky, okay, which we'll call the third fret. It's actually the tenth. One, two, three. All right, one, two, three. Because we've got the cap on now. Keeps things nice and simple. And then the C, uh, F minor. Now, that's a nice easy way to do F minor. However, you could do it like this. Or you could use the full bar. Okay, so what I tend to do um, to, you know, just add a bit of dynamics to it and make it a bit more interesting is play like the verses nice and quiet. Pick it up for the chorus. Now you can add a bar chord here. Sounds a bit bigger, you know? Just F minor. <laughs> Don't always get that right. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going... Back to C. Okay, so that's our third version. Fourth version. Still in the same key. G open. B7. an easy right C minor open is a bit more difficult now that C minor chord you might not come across it that often in an open chord because it's a little bit awkward so I'll show you how to do it third finger third fret on the fifth string 
uh, then first finger, first fret on the fourth string, the D string. Open G, then second finger, this is the awkward one, on the first fret on the second string, on the B string. So it sounds like this. Sorry. Uh, and then we don't play the top E, okay? If you can, the only time I play a top E, I add my pinky on it at the third fret. That's a little bit awkward, okay? Otherwise it would just be... So all together, G. four different ways to play Creep by Radiohead. Please let me know how you get on in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for the subscriptions and thank you so much for giving me the thumbs up. I really, really appreciate it. I'll be back here the same time again next week, guys. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.